What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to animate your character. Basically, we're gonna go ahead and create an animation blueprint, so it's gonna be a very easy video to follow. So, let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on William Fox. Alright, so the first thing that we need is of course your character and all the animations. Now in my case, I'm gonna be using just the normal default mannequin ones just to show you in this tutorial how you can create an animation blueprint and stuff. But of course you can use your own character with your own animations and stuff and later on integrate them. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and create before the animation blueprint itself is gonna be an animation blend space. So Raise right click, go to animation, and now if we are in 5.1, you will see that we have an animation blend space over here. The thing is that it will, this will include uh, two axes, okay? Basically a vertical, a vertical one and an horizontal one. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we are not gonna be making straight movement, okay? So we don't need like diagonal and backwards movement. We only need like an idle animation, walking animation, and running animation. Um, so we're gonna keep this simple. So we're gonna go into legacy and choose the plan space 1d Of course, if you're using like another version that is not 5.1, it will be available over here But anyway, you're gonna choose the plan space 5.1 and then you're gonna go ahead and choose whatever character um, You want your animations to be okay? So actually I'm gonna change my mind and go and select the creator skeleton I just had it so I'm gonna be using it in this video. So let's go ahead and rename this so this, I mean, I'm just gonna put Kratos, then space, I guess. So let's go ahead and create this asset. And now let's go ahead and open this up. So you will see that we have a bit of a, like a timeline. Then we have the asset browser and details, etc. So first of all, this is gonna be the horizontal axis. So basically the blend space will allow us to transition between different animations very smoothly, depending on a value that in our case, it will be the speed. So we can just go into the horizontal axis, change the name to be into speed. And now the maximum axis value will be basically the max speed of your character. So in my case, I'm going to put 500, which is normally what we have in a normal third person game. And the minimum is going to be left at zero because, well, it will go from zero to 500. Okay. I'm also going to tap snap to grid. So it's a bit better. And then in the asset browser that if you not see one of these win windows, you can just go into window here and you know open up uh, as browser details whatever you need okay so we're gonna go ahead and find the kratos idol well basically your character's idol and just drag it and we're gonna go ahead and place it on the left part so basically when the speed will be zero but then we can go and put the walk animation now the thing is that i don't have any run animation but if you were to have a running animation you of course would put first of all the walk here and then finalize with the run animation but in my case, I just have directly the walk, so I'm just gonna place it at the end. So maybe later I will have to change the speed of the character so it can match up a bit like a walking animation. But we'll see, for now it's gonna be cool. So now if I hover over the timeline and hold control, you will see how the character as the uh, speed will increase will transition from the idle animation smoothly into the walking animation. So this looks really cool. So now we're gonna go ahead and integrate it into an animation blueprint. So to do this, what we're going to do is just go here and right click, go animation blueprint. So now once again, you have to select the skeleton for your character. I'm going to go ahead and create. And then what we're going to do is just name this for Kratos and in blueprint. So now let's go ahead and open this up and we'll see that we'll have different windows and stuff. So first of all, we'll have the name graph and here we'll be able to pass, um, you know, different animations or slots and put them in an output, output post, okay? And then we'll have the event graph, which basically will contain a mini blueprint for our well, animation blueprint. So from here, we can directly cast into our character and for example, get uh, the speed velocity, the if it's jumping, if it's an error, etc. all the conditions that we need in order to transition in our anim graph. So for us, what we're going to do right now is very simple. We're gonna, go, we're gonna basically get our blend space and just put it on. Now, in my case, I have two because I already had one from another tutorial about Kratos. So let me see which one it is. It's basically this one. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and just drag it from the content browser because I know it's this one. Okay, so now we have the plan space. So what you can do is just directly pass it into the output pose. Now, you will see that if we compile, it will be basically in an idle animation. But if I were to change the speed to 500, which is the maximum one, for example, we can just compile again. You'll see that now he will be with this walking animation. 
but the thing is that we have to change the speed accordingly uh, depending on well the speed on the on the player basically while we play the game so in order to do this we're gonna go just right click and promote this into a variable i'm gonna go ahead and cover press q so it's all aligned and now we can go into the van graph so first of all we're gonna add another node which is gonna be the initialize event blueprint initialize animation so this is like the begin play of the nm graph so in here what we're going to do is directly cast to the um, bp third person character and then we're going to do is right click promote to variable and this is going to be basically our character so we're going to basically save our character in a variable so now in the update we're going to do is just get the character and then we can basically just get its velocity velocity there we go let's go down here you will see the velocity and now the thing is that it will contain a vector node so what we can do is just say vector length and this will basically convert it into a nice float so now we can just plug our speed here and then connect the length over here and now it will set up with our speed depending on our character in game so the thing left to do will be to go into the uh third person character blueprint so let's go ahead and open this guy up okay here we are and then what you have to do is go ahead select the mesh and change it into your um you know character so in my case it will be kratos and this is huge so let me go ahead and just make it smaller there we go and then we'll go ahead and need our to place our anime class which will be our animation blueprint that we have just created so in my case i'm gonna open the the kind of browser and just dragging over here oh i'm just gonna place it here there we go so now we have the animations for creators uh which looks really cool so now if i were to compile and press the game you'll see that i'm not moving so he's basically on his idle animation but when i start moving he will go into his walking animation now you can see that he's going very fast for his walking animation so that was basically what i anticipated so let's go ahead and select the character move component of course only if you don't have your running animation too like me or uh you know the speed doesn't match your animation you can just go into the max walk speed and you know just lower this a lot so my case is going to be 400 and i'm going to go into the um into the blend space and just drag this here and then put uh 400 there too and then to the end so now it should be a bit better maybe even too much yeah it's okay for now so you can see that we have our character already animating really cool now there's a few more things that we can add into our animation blueprint first of all if you want to play animation montages what you would do, need to do is add a default slot so a default slot will be basically the slot that the animation montages will be able to play if you don't have the according slot of your animation montage in the animation blueprint just after the animation so it will basically be like over overriding everything that's behind uh, they will not be able to play now the normal one is the default one so basically uh it's like you create a new animation montage you will get the default slot so that's why we're going to be using this one today so we can just compile and everything will be normal but if we were to play an animation montage from the blueprint it will be able to play now a more thing that we can create is basically caches okay we can actually create caches and another thing that we can actually create is basically states and we're gonna select a state machine. So in here we can basically have like another mini event graph and handle a lot more of states. So for example, I can rename this to be basically the character's locomotion. So let me try to <laughs> rename it. Let's go back here. So you can now go back and stuff. So rename, there we go, uh, locomotion. So now if I were to control X this and go into locomotion, I could now go ahead and add a new state and then this will be the uh, idle slash walk. So then I could basically go ahead and enter this and place my Kratos blend space 1D over here. So basically what this will do is just basically organize everything a bit better. So now we have like a slot with the locomotion and then it will basically output it in the pose and stuff. So now if we were to have like, for example, an crouching, another crouching blend space, what you could do is, I, mean, I don't have right now crouching animations, but I'm gonna kind of create the blend space so you can understand what's going on. For example, I could just uh, duplicate this and then just put, for example, you know, crouching. And then I could basically go into the uh, blend space, just get the crouching blend space. Actually, oh, well, first of all, 
uh, I will need to create a new state or uh, if you just drag it, it will create another state But I prefer to do it manually. So just create a new state crouching and then what you do you just open this drag the blend space in plug the uh, speed variable over here and then if you go down over here then what you could do is just drag this and then put it into the other one so now basically you will have a transition and then the same we want to be able to go back into the walk so you can just go ahead and transition back now the thing is that we need to put some conditions on this transition for example from idle to crouching we will need to create a boolean which will be for example is crouching okay and then you will just place this one over here okay and set it so if it's crouching it will basically go from idle to walk into crouching and then to, to crouch into idle we need to open this and put in is crouching is not boolean so now if it's not true it will basically go back into the uh you know the walking and stuff blend space now you will need to go into the bin graph you know access the characters um, you know animation that it has and the blue uh, variable sorry that it has and then basically go ahead and set your is crouching depending if your character is basically crouching and stuff with your uh, code in inside your blueprint basically and then it should uh, work dynamically basically depending on this uh, you know, transitions and stuff so that's pretty much it guys i hope that with this you kind of get a better understanding of how the animation blueprint works and etc so if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful i really appreciate it. you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials available so if you want to check it out go ahead now yes with all i said bye bye